right, welcome back. Okay, so for this update, we're going to be doing a lot more confidants, and we're going to be handling quite a few requests in Mementos. So first off, hey, we haven't hung out with EY for a bit, so let's go ahead and correct that, shall we? We do have a job that we need to go do for him. It's been a little while since we hung out with EY. So let's go see if we're going to be running into, like, Kiryu or Majima or someone else. Maybe Saijima. Maybe Saijima. Gotta run the AC so my merch stays in good condition. Fair enough. It's July, EY. Yeah, piece of cake for a gun enthusiast like you, right? Hmm. All right. What you got for me? I wonder how your wife feels about us having just a cat staring at him. Get what I'm saying? Bring the goods to the back. I like EY, I think he's really cool. Hey. I mean, it's a model gun store, so I guess this kind of fits in with us being a delinquent or whatever. Customer's been running a little thin lately. Some guy on the internet's been claiming all my goods are knockoffs. Well, that sucks. It's real tough to shake it. Oh, trust me. Yeah, we... You're preaching to the choir. I know how that feels. Preaching to the choir. Eh-heh. Uh -huh. You have no idea. Don't give me any details, though. I don't want to know. Fair enough. Fair enough. That's right. Suda, huh? He's a lieutenant in the Hashiba clan. So yeah, EY was totally in the Yakuza. And the best way to hang out with EY is basically just call him out and say, Yeah, I knew you were a thug. Show him that you got balls. That's why I've got you around. Oh boy! Makes you perfect for snooping on Suda. Cool! I have balls! <laughs> Dude, we, we just dealt with Mafia. I, I think we can handle Yakuza. From one group of organized criminals to another. Just a regular week for us. We should be grateful. Ooh. We get more on the special menu, do we? Awesome. Again, we, we don't really need it. Considering our guns are end-game equipment, but hey more customization We can now customize mid-tier guns All right. Which ain't bad ain't bad better guns are is just better overall 
Oh. What's the meaning of this? Oh, I told you to stop coming around here. Earnest looking boy, is he? Is that one of your customers? This ain't none of your business. Fair enough! Fair enough! Oh, so he knows who he is. Hmm. Kaoru. Okay. Guess I'll be going then. Bye. Yeah. Huh. So that's Iwai's son. Even an ex-Yakuza probably wouldn't want their son falling in their footsteps. It's a trope that's played with in quite a bit of media. Just because you're in organized crime doesn't mean you want your family to. You're just doing this to give them a better chance. Doesn't exactly justify it, but still. Adds a bit more humanity to them. Back to future prison! Don't be ridiculous. This new ally you gained was Makoto? Are we just are we just writing out our friends? You know what? You're clueless, huh? Oh preposterous. If what you say is true, was Makoto also running from the police when you were arrested? Ask her yourself. Now that I think about it, she did start talking a lot about the investigation from summer onward. <sighs> you were too obsessed with your job that you forgot about your own Besides, little sister. I mentioned one other important detail. Did Kanashiro really say there was someone using the metaverse besides the Phantom Thieves? Those words could just be taken as you shifting blame to this other person, you know. I mean, take it how you will. <laughs> but why would you fabricate such an elaborate story and then shift the blame elsewhere? There are two possibilities. Either you've simply been trying to confuse me with your lies, or everything you've stated is true. Have you been telling me the truth from the very start? You know what? You can decide that. That's the plan. Then again, I am investigating a thief who steals hearts. I mean, I am very charismatic. No how absurd it may seem, I'll reevaluate my stance on believing you, for now. In return, speak the whole truth and nothing but the truth. It's a fair deal. Is that acceptable? Yeah, sure. That, that's fine. I've made a deal with Sai Nijima. This seems like a bad idea if you're trying not to rat out your crew. I am the anyway, Sai here is the representative of the Judgment Arcana. And she's going to be another confidant that upgrades automatically. It shall become the wings of but this is a very important confidant. Not going to go into details why, but we'll find out later on. I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. Now, this is a bit weird. Even though we just established a judgment confidant in present time, we still get a bonus for fusing judgment personas back during the time where we're telling the story. Let's move on to your next target. Bit weird, but whatever. It was they who targeted your group first, wasn't it? The identity of your opponent is this. We have no pictures. So our next target is Medjed. And apparently it's a website. Or something along those lines. in this case. How did you target them? Tell me everything. Phantom Thieves may even have a change of heart, right? 
Yep, we got Kanashiro. Aren't we cool? Damn, these are amazing. Isn't it cool how they steal people's hearts? How do they make them repent? I'm really curious who they are. We still have that ramen bowl just sitting on our shelf. Hey, check the ingredients in the fridge. Hey, what's up? Huh? Not right? Not cute? That was the one the staff recommended to me, though. Won't that printer do? Huh? It'll do, but it's not it? Okay. Be right over. <sighs> this might take a while. I'm leaving the store to you. Lock up for me if I don't come back. What's going on there, Sojuro? You going on a date? Something like that. Oh ho! <laughs> what a handful. Well, you do you, man. Smooth pimp daddy! Damn, he is styling. The latest news on the suspect Kaneshiro. This case is said to be a result of the Phantom Thieves' actions, but what do you think? We don't know their methods, but I believe they are a menace that will threaten this law-abiding country. Uh-huh, thank you. This dangerous group tampers with people's hearts. It's no different from brainwashing. You know what? He's not wrong, but still. Absolutely correct. The people that we're messing with are horrible scumbags. So, I'm not saying ends justify the means, but, eh, I'd say we get kind of into the gray area there. They punished those awful people, didn't they? The Phantom Thieves aren't at fault then. Well, thank you. I mean, shit. Don't you think so too, dearie? The Phantom Thieves aren't doing anything wrong, are they? Uh, I mean, um, probably not. I don't want to seem too... After the last scare that we had, being too gung-ho with, like, being pro-Phantom Thief might not be the best idea. That might paint a huge target on our backs. Again. Yes. I've received the reports on Kaneshiro's case. But to think the Phantom Thieves would honestly attempt an absurd idea like social reform... Uh-oh. Evil Kirk Thornton doesn't like this. I'm not pleased about the general public support also the danger of the metaverse being exposed with their continued actions. Actually, there is one countermeasure he brought in that seems usable. It involves having the phantom thieves destroy themselves without our direct intervention. Ominous. We'll set things up so that those mental shutdown occurrences are their doing. Ah, I thought as much. I had a feeling that it was too brutal for it to be his own idea. Still, to think you'd go through such elaborate detail to crush them. Their actions must be that much of an eyesore for you. I sympathize with what you're going through. Well then, we'll clean this up quickly and put it behind us. Yes, a grand undertaking like social reform is beyond a group such as the Phantom Thieves. Is he looking at a JPEG? People are entitled to change the world. Like you, future Prime Minister. Kirk Thornton is doing his best Revolver Ocelot at the moment. Just doing his best Revolver Ocelot. Do, 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 do. Oh boy, it's Ryuji. What's up? I'm working. Watching the store. Gotcha. We're gonna come over right now about the, uh, you know what. See ya. R Ryuji, why you gotta bring this shit up on the phone? We gotta be discreet. We're here to hang out. That's not why we're here. We need to study for finals. Oh, yeah, those. Why am I here, too? I'm sorry, Makoto. You're one of us now, so of course you gotta help us. We're in trouble if you don't teach us, you know. I don't need to study. I'm a genius. Oh, all 
hold you to that. Want to see who gets the higher test scores? Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I do, actually, as a matter of fact. I guarantee I'll do better than you, Ryuji. Guarantee it. what is this place? The storekeeper doesn't seem to be around. That's where this guy lives. Yep. <laughs> Everybody has that exact same reaction. You can tell her about it, right? Actually, tell yourself. Well, you see... And that's about it. That's, that's terrible. I know. On Yusuke and me are pretty much the same too. I mean, it's not as bad as this guy stuff. It's pretty it's shitty, isn't it? Can't ever put up with. That's why and Ren's doing the foot tap face. thing. I'm sure it's, it's just a fun little animation, but maybe that's like mm, every time he tells that story, he gets a bit more pissed off, and it's just his way of like kind of dealing with it. A heart you want to change? That's a secret. There's someone like that. You could just tell us, you know. You don't gotta be so cold. That aside, do you have any intention of studying for the exam? I don't have to. I'm really. I, I'm a genius. It's fine if I leave then. No, no, I'm just joking. Please teach us. Hmm. What was this term? It's phobia, so it's a fear of some kind. I think it's a fear of open spaces. You don't hear it that often, though. Agoraphobia? Leave vocabulary and long sentences to me. I suck at proper grammar, though. Duh. Even if we study English, it's not like I'm going to use it in the future. When it comes to you, your Japanese is questionable, too. Ah, uh, shut up! Explain the writer's feelings? What point is there in that? Just bullshit. That's how all English That's classes impossible. work. I can't memorize all these formulas. Ain't there a good way of cheating? <laughs> Why, Why are you asking the student council president the best way to and cheat? On the Gee, I shoot. wonder if Ryuji's gonna fail. Now, Akechi san. This case is said to be the result of the Phantom Thieves' actions, but in actuality, is this true? Considering how a calling card was scattered about. I believe there's no mistaking. Oh boy, we get to hear from a catchy. What the Phantom Thieves actually did. If they tampered with the suspect's heart, it casts doubt on the authenticity of any confession. Uh-huh. So then by tampering with hearts, the Phantom Thieves are fabricating crimes that may not exist? We can't deny the possibility. There's no doubt that the Phantom Thieves are exposing hidden injustices in society. His eyes are just so However, dead. If this is done by sidestepping the law. Their way of thinking is very dangerous. So, in a way, they're outlaws. Ooh, that sounds cool. Yes. They're no different than the criminals they target. This cannot be overlooked. Excuse you? I see. Oh, I see. My ass. Why the hell are we being treated as the bad guys? Well, technically speaking, we are fucking with people's brains. More people are starting to understand that what we're doing is right, after all. When I'm walking around in town... I hear a lot more people talking about us too. And the forum's been full of hype. Do you think we made it big time? I mean, we only got 35% people think that we're just. Street thug. Save it for after we deal with a bigger target. Good point. Just gotta take down a bigger one, yeah? That was the plan from the start, anyways. True. It may be best if we start thinking about it. I bet we'll find one in no time. Wind's blowing in our direction and everything. I feel like we won't lose to anything right now. Well, we'll decide on that eventually. We need to overcome our exams first. Yep. Now then, break time's over. Let's get back to... That reminds me, the celebration party. Weren't we going to do it after exams? Yes, I believe so. Focus on studying, Ryuji. You need it. I feel like I'll study better if I got something to look forward to. No, you won't. The last one was a buffet at a hotel. We haven't gone anywhere since. Hmm? A buffet. Food. <laughs> that got Yusuke's attention. Hey, what about fireworks? A fireworks festival. Hot diggity. Oh yeah, it's that season, huh? That sounds good to me. It's hard to ignore a buffet, but I'll take the beauties of summer. I'm so hungry. I demand that we feast during the festival as well. Fair point. Do you guys own a yukata? Yusuke is so hungry. Please feed him. Works festival sound good? I, you think so too, right? You know what? Yeah, I think it's a great idea. Right. Any form of camaraderie, I'm all for. Let's look for a good one. Study 
he comes first, I, I just desperately what need friends, if please. You know any of them. Are we clear? Yes, ma'am. Oh. Somebody's spying on us. Study comes first, though. I won't let you off if you fail any of them. Are we clear? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> and that sounds very much like Erica Lindbeck. I recognize that little chuckle. Oh, goodness. That's all it says. Rumor has it she's talking about her boyfriend. Well, that's not healthy. Sounds dangerous. It's fine. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. We need to deal with this. Seems like she'll do something really bad someday, right? And it gets even worse. She's a Shujin student. Shujin is just getting a seriously bad, well deserved by the way, but a seriously bad rap. Oh. We can go even deeper into mementos. Love sick cyber stalking girl. Well then. All right. Well, off to sleep. Wonder what the Phantom Thieves' goal is. And they just choose bad people to steal hearts from? Yes, we do. Yeah, fuck the Mafia. <laughs> Maybe someone's asking them to do it. Don't they have a forum or something? We do. We're getting quite a little following right now. Tons of comments now. Oh boy. Hey Akachi, how are you doing? I know, it's surprising, isn't it? I'm in a bind since I previously denounced them. Oh, that's... that's so bad for you, isn't it? Okay, can you please leave now? I, I need to get to school, dude. Just this example? I don't know. Dude, I gotta get to school. I got class. I'm a delinquent. What are you asking me for? W w what do you mean, Akechi? Hey. Yeah, that sounds awful. Why don't you go investigate that more? No, because if I'm recalling correctly, anytime the Phantom Thieves change a heart, no one, like, ends up dead. No one drives a subway train and crashes into, like, 50 people. I don't think the Phantom Thieves have done that. It's it's not really similar. I mean, it's... I mean, they both deal with people's mental states, but... But so far, the Phantom Thieves haven't caused any fatalities. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Even more packed than usual today. Ooh. 
The leader's confession has led to the arrest of other key members. Whoa! What do you know? Turned out pretty well. That's not as good. That is, that is significantly worse. Got a fireworks festival on the 18th. That organization has fallen like a house of cards. Yeah, but some people died in a car accident, dude. It wasn't great. How tragic. Every single little thing gets its five minutes of fame. It's not really five minutes, Mr. Hiruta. They've kind of been doing this for a good couple months. It's actually a lot longer than five minutes. Just saying. Think about it, there's an organism that has its own short-lived glimmer. That's right, fireflies. They're probably something akin to magic creatures to you city kids. You haven't been completely tainted by city life yet, so here's a question. Oh boy. What are we talking about fireflies? What try. is the name of the light producing substance in fireflies? Well, this one's pretty easy. It's Luciferin. Because I do believe Luce means light. And also Lucifer means the light bringer. Or the Morning Star, or whatever. It means very bright, is what it means. Firefly cannot cry, so it burns its body. Or so they say. That's pretty metal. It doesn't produce heat like a fire. Well then why are they called fireflies? If they don't produce heat like a fire. I am, uh, oh, everybody just keeps saying that I'm, that everybody just keeps getting surprised by how smart I am, even though I've proven it like 50 billion times. Why you gotta keep bringing up that old shit? Friggin' pay attention, jackasses. All right. I am smart. I am the smartest guy in this entire school. Remember that. July 18th, Marine Day. Finals end on the 16th, so that should be good, right? What are you talking about? Ryuji, focus on exams right now. We'll deal with the fireworks festival soon enough. You're going to fail. You are going to fail. But you know what? Impressive, Ryuji, impressive. I gotta give him his pro- I gotta, like, give him a little pat on the head. Cause sometimes it feels like the world's out to get Ryuji, even though he's not helping his case. Whatever. Hey. Exams start Wednesday. I don't need to study Morgana, I am a genius. But you know what we should go do? We should go handle some stuff in Mementos. We got a bunch of stuff to do in Mementos. We have a bunch of stuff. Quite a few targets, quite a few side quests too. 
So let's go ahead and head over to the hideout and get this stuff cleared out, shall we? I don't need to study Makoto. I have I'm a genius and I have the internet. I never need to study. Anyway, let's go ahead and hold a meeting real quick. People think really highly of us thanks to Kaneshiro. I'm so proud. But you aren't satisfied, right? Well, I mean, the game's not over yet, so obviously no. Got a bunch more stuff to deal with. Exams are more important right now. In a way, those are a pretty big target too. We should change the heart of the exams. Whatever that means. Let's go ahead and check out our request, shall we? It's new intel on Memento's target today. We have a few, Morgana. Quite a few. Start with this one first. This intel is on an online stalker. This is the one we just got from Mishima. Her delusions are really getting out of hand. She's even writing how she's going to kill them. That's not healthy. In more ways than one. If we don't stop her, she might actually do it. I mean, she goes to Shujin, so... Yeah. Yeah, shit ain't good. Shujin's kind of a shithole. On to the next target. Apparently, the Phantom Thieves inspired a larceny group that steals from shops in Shibuya. We accepted this one a while ago. Top of that, it seems their leaders has been physically abusing his younger brother. This is one is also a reference to the Persona 5 anime, the first one, uh, Daybreakers. Can't let these people go around tarnishing the Phantom Thieves' name. I agree. Alright, so that's two requests. But we still got a few more. That's not all. Now on to the next target. The intel is on a man who's been abusing his girlfriend. This is the one for, uh... This is the one for Chihaya. This man named Uchimura has assaulted her countless times. That fortune teller even predicted she'd be badly hurt if left alone. Those fortunes often come true. What a jerk. I agree. That guy sounds like an asshole who we need to deal with, like, right away. Okay, looks like we're all ready to do this. We still got another request. We still got another request, guys. On to the next target. There we go. Listen up. Couple related to Kawakami's former student. They're quite the foul pair of people, I'll say. using the incident where that child died to try to extort money from Kawakami. <laughs> you 
Yeah, that is pretty shit. That is pretty... F that is pretty garbage. They are horrible people. We need to deal with this. No, you won't, Morgana. No, you won't, because you're not in the team. Okay, nice. looks like we're all ready to do this. I already told Mishima, so the forum post's up and running. No objections, right? Yep. Good to go. We got a unanimous decision. So that's four targets. Four of them. Now, unlike with the palaces, I can kind of edit a little bit in Mementos, considering it's pretty much like the, the uh, P3 and P4 dungeons. All right. I'm gonna so, a bit easier this. to edit. Not as many puzzles, if at all. I can sense some restlessness coming from below us again. <laughs> looking good, Morgana, looking good. The, the hot pink just really stands out from everybody else's black uniforms. Oh, a new level to Mementos. And cutscene. bigger is this place gonna get? Yo, Mona, can't you turn into some kind of high-powered radar or something? So we know how deep the That'd be neat. Could? That's impossible. Hmm. It would be dangerous to wander blindly. We simply do not have enough information. Just driving around won't likely do us any good either. Yeah, but the path keeps going forward. We'll reach the depths eventually. I think. Ah. Uh, that again. You're really not selling us on this whole like. You you're really not helping your case there, Morgana. Well, before we start going do these requests, I do believe we are in need of a wardrobe change. So let's go ahead and do that. This time around, we're going to use the Kairo Kozaka high uniforms. This is from Shin Megami Tensai If. Or IF. I don't think it's a game that ever came to the West. I'm... I'm fairly certain, but let me double check. Nope, never came to the West. It was a Japan exclusive. But hey, the uniforms look pretty spiffy. Look at that. They also got big ass headphones. And let's go ahead and change our car appearance as well. We're gonna go with a uh, celebratory style this time around. <laughs> well then. All right, let's go ahead and start part way in. We got four targets. Let's go ahead and start the rest area. Target from an area below us. These outfits have an awful lot of blue going on for him. So hey, 
We can now use the Koma Sabaki. I'm not going to be using it just yet, but hey, we can use it. But yeah, this is pretty useful. In case we need somebody to handle a different elemental weakness. It's a pretty good move. It's very useful. Especially in comparison to the earlier Persona games. Okay. A decisive victory. They noticed us? Well, then we'll need to shut them up. Everyone be careful. They took us by surprise. These three are weak, but be careful. The S and T I F tracks are pretty good, though. I gotta say, hmm. nice work, team. they are pretty dope. All right. We cleaned up. Oh, we got a target in this area. Scour this floor for them. You got it. The shadow is near. Take caution. We're just gonna be looking for all four of the targets. Not really gonna be worrying too much about like random encounters. This place feels so lonely. Darkness doesn't help either. I'll shine a path for you. Turning on my high beam. How does that translate for Morgana? What does that mean for your eyes? Joker, a treasure... Grimy gear. We'll be using the laundromat soon enough. Just not yet. Hope our target's not that far away. First target on the docket. Let's see who it is. Oh. Kazuya Makigami's shadow. He looks so bad. Yes. Ah, so this is the Daybreakers guy. Let's talk to him. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's right. I'm behind the burglary ring. But I'm not in the wrong. Oh, really? How do you figure? You should be ashamed of yourself. No, I just meant it as a way to have a little fun, but those idiots got cocky. And now I'm the only one who's in trouble. Damn it, why do bad things always happen to me? I don't know, maybe you shouldn't commit crimes. And get caught. You got caught, that's why you're in the shit now. We didn't get caught. Well, okay, we got caught a few times. Actually, we got caught a lot. We're bad at this, but you know what? We can cover our tracks pretty efficiently. Y you know what? Let's just have the boss fight, okay? You think violence and crime is rebellion? Don't be stupid. I'll show you. Don't think you're better than me, idiot! Go away! And he turns into... I want to say that's Mithra. I might be wrong, but I'm, I think that's what Mithra is. Whatever, we're gonna kick his ass either way. Oh, but he sums up other demons! You know what? That's not really that big of a problem. Because he's super weak. 
And yeah, <laughs> that's what happens. Level up. What was I supposed to do? That sounds like Dave Wittenberg. Apparently there are two personas called Mithra. There's one that's called Mithra and there's one called Mithras. I'm probably butchering the pronunciation of those names. That's the key to the chest in my room. Give it to my brother. How does this translate from the metaverse to the real? You know what? Whatever. Anything you want to tell him? Well, burn what's inside or throw it away, I guess. An old key. What are we gonna do about that treasure? Give it to his brother. That's what we were told. It's no use to us anyway. I can give it to him since he goes to my school. I'll just sneak it into his house. I think that's the best way. All right, that works for me, Morgana. I hope everything resolves itself. In any case, we pretty much succeeded with our mission. Good job, guys. We did it. Hooray. On to the next target. We got three more. We are not done yet. Let's keep going. On to the next target. So the next target is even deeper into the dungeon. Third floor of Kemda. Chemda? Whatever. These words are not easy to pronounce. Okay. What'd we get? Athletic shirt. All right. Again, we're not really worrying too much about the random mobs, and we're definitely not gonna be messing with the Reaper again. Not yet. There is a way to deal with him very easily, as I might add. You might already know what that is, but we're not gonna show it off just yet, because now is not the proper time. But when we do, when we are able to easily handle the Reaper, that's where big, 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 big level grinding comes into play. All right, so now we found Uchimura's shadow. So let's get the shadow the guy who abuses his girlfriend is thinking. This probably won't be great. Huh? 
This is horrible. Damn it! I gamble away all my money again. Like I know I've said all the like palace rulers are basically like super villains, but this is just cartoonishly evil. Beating her is a right that only I have. I'll have you know she loves it. What the fuck? There is no redeeming this guy. Fuck it, let's just deal with him. Oh, of course he's an Oni, why not? Giving a bad name to Onis, dude. I'm gonna punch you too. Okay, punch this. Oh, how did that work out for you? All out attack. And dead. Instantly dead. Not even, not even giving him a dignif- just, just in instantly dead. And hey, Zoro learned Recarm. That's pretty good. And hey, Hecatite got Diorama. Diorama? The mid-tier healing spell. This is horrible. I hate it. I hate it when people look at me like I'm just a bug to them. Okay. I can do better. I'm a superior human being. Wow. Wow, he's just double downing. He just double downed. Sleep stick. That's... The implications are awful. He really was the worst of the worst to think that. I agree. We changed his heart, so let's go tell the fortune teller when we get the chance. Did we, though? Did we? He didn't sound too remorseful about it. In fact, it sounded like he double downed on it. No? Am I wrong? I feel like he's still pretty bad. I feel like he needs another one. Whatever. We got two more targets. Let's go. I guess that means the side quest is over. It, he, he's still fucked in the head, but whatever, I guess. Anyway, we got another target. Just drive right by him. I can send the target up ahead. Alright, next target. Ooh, or should I say targets? Because of those assholes who are blackmailing Kawakami. Those two look pretty sure of themselves. Real smug looking. You have no idea. They're blackmailing that teacher Kawakami by using that incident where their child died. Yes, we do. We need to help her right now by dealing with these assholes. Okay. Are you ready? Let's go. Money, money, money. Hurry and pay us your money. It's your responsibility. <laughs> oh, these people are just garbage. These are just... These people are awful. Did you come to bring me money? I love money. I feel like that one boss from No More Heroes 2 probably likes money a bit more than you. Because he shoots money. You're incompetent. Fuck you. Sorry. I was going to use what happened to my son to get back at people. Oh, 
I won't lose to elitists like you. Really? Really? All right. What do you got? Titania and Oberon. The fairy queen and king themselves. All right, fine. I don't like your attitude. <laughs> okay. How about blazing hell for the both of you? It is, isn't it? Uh, baton pass to Makoto. Go ahead and give him some nuclear damage. That's one down. Another round of nuclear power! And some electricity. Ah, oh, whatever, just shoot him. Well, they're done. Oh, no level up, but whatever. You're looking down on me, too. Deep down inside, you're laughing at me, aren't you? It's not deep down. No, I'm laughing at you to your face. I wish this would stop. Without them, people would laugh. You people are awful. You are garbage. What are you talking about? We're terrible human beings. Our son Taiki and his real parents were different. Well, you're definitely right about being terrible human beings. That's kind of what you two are. Elitist at a big name corporations, always looking at us coldly. What? It felt nice to see him gradually break down from working so much. What the fuck is wrong with you two people? Yeah, I know, you're terrible human beings. You are, you are subhuman trash. <laughs> if they didn't before, they certainly do now. I became obsessed with money. Uh-huh. And you killed him. Good job, idiots. That's mine now. I guess we can tell Kawakami now. Wow, just the absolute worst of the worst. All right. We got one more target to go deal with. Ugh. Just one piece of garbage after another. Just the worst. Ooh, treasure demon. Hey, you know who's all out of tech we haven't seen just yet? Yusuke. Let's go ahead and check his out, shall we? His is pretty good. Yeah. It was fun while it lasted. Oh, that's a sick-ass design. Got a big-ass dragon on it. I'm going to show off all the all-out attack screenshots. Because they are pretty awesome. I like them a lot. They're really cool. Anyway, we got one more target to go deal with. And hey, it's Mogami. This is the Cyber Stalker. Hmm. Her blog is full of all her crazy thoughts. She must have lost in some sort of sick romance fantasy. Yeah, we definitely should do something before she can hurt anybody. Okay, let's go. Let's do it. What's going on? What are you phantom thieves doing? I know why you go out to Kamashita, but why me? Uh... 
there is a point where it goes too far. You're kind of, you kind of need to dial it back a bit. Just a bit. Maybe stop making death threats. Okay. Alrighty then. What did you say? Oh boy. I guess peace was never an option. Hanging out with some lame guys and a funny looking animal. Okay, let's just do the fight now, okay? And she turns into bugs! An evil teddy bear with skulls in its stomach. That's that's a bit creepy. Alright, let's just get this done with. This makes me mad! Get her! Don't get in the way of romance! I'm, I swear I'm gonna change up Arsene's moveset to a better one. This is just... I don't know why I have those moves on him. There's, there's a much better setup for him. Even though I'm not doing the whole min-maxing thing for this version of Arsene, I can still give him the better moves. Again, whenever P5R comes out, which is going to be pretty soon, and honestly, I don't think I'm going to be able to finish this playthrough by then. That's that's probably not going to happen, but when P5R comes out, I am definitely going to do stuff with it. I don't know if I'm going to do a full playthrough of it. I might. I don't know. I just I'm still I'm still not finished with this one. I got to finish this one up first before I touch P5R, but still, I, I'm probably going to do something with it. But, uh, yeah, when P5R does roll around, I'll show off a more, like, fully... I'll show off a much better version of Arsene. What have I done? Shall I show you? You'll understand someday. Let's not be skeezy, okay? Someday? When will that be? Just tell them face to face, and don't write weird stuff in your blog. It'll take courage, though. I feel like it's going to be a bit of an uphill battle, considering you just wrote you'll kill them a bunch of times. Uphill battle. Uphill battle. To say the least. Well. Whatever, we got ourselves a treasure. Sticky hairball? That's a fusion item, by the way. And I'm pretty sure that old key is one, too. But hey, new level of mementos is unlocked. We're going to just kind of see what it's called, but we're not really going to explore it all that much. We're going to say that for the next time we come to mementos. We got some other stuff to deal with before uh, we come back to mementos for a bit. Kaitol. Or Kaitul? Again, I'm not sure how to pronounce all these words. Very deep, Yusuke. And as usual, Ryuji does not get it. Let's be careful heading in. We'll we'll come back to Kai Tool later on. Later on. We we got a couple more uh we have a few more confidants to deal with before we come back here though. As I struggle with, as I struggle with the UI for a little bit. Uh, 
Let's go ahead and leave mementos for a hot second, shall we? Even if we do get to the very bottom, we can't progress that much further. But I think we made some pretty decent progress. Let's head on back. Oh boy, that was some hard work in mementos. Ah, you're back. How did you know that, Sojiro? Yeah, how'd you know that? Nothing gets by me. I own this place, remember? Uh, uh, okay. I can tell what's going on here just by looking at the tables. Oh, all right. That's some very keen eyes you got. But hey, you know what? It's time to use one of those handy confidant abilities. Requesting a massage. What? So, take this for what you will, but Kawakami will give us a massage and that will kind of let us do even more evening activities, even though we just went to Mementos. It's a very handy ability. Again, take from this what you will. Feels like my body's being kneaded with iron rods. She is freakishly strong. Hey, Kawakami, by the way, this costume has been taken care of. Okay, good talk. Ugh. It's perfect. Jeez. Your body's pretty fit. What the heck do you do to get it like this? Wouldn't you like to know? Well? You feel a bit lighter now? My body really does feel lighter. Any fatigue I felt earlier is all gone. Nice. Looks like that was pretty effective. Since you're refreshed now, you can probably do something else before the night ends. Yes, I will. I'm going to take advantage of that. Now, instead of telling Kawakami that the whole Takase thing has been resolved, but you know what? We got a fortune teller who we need to go brag in front of. Let's go do that now. What do you think? Fine. Believe it. Stop. Her fate should still be heading down the path to misery without changing. Oh really? Look. Go ahead, please, by all means, do your do your fortune telling bit. Read those tarot cards. Oh What? Aha! Kana has completely changed. Death has moved far off into the future. But death is not a bad card. You know what? Fate is not absolute. No. Uh-huh. Oh! Oh! Calling us the scam artist, are ya? Are you now? I wish that was an option. I wish that was an option to call her out on that. I'm the scam artist? Really? I'm just an ordinary student. Not that ordinary. But there's no way that could have happened without you breaking the law. Eh. Ordinary high school student changed the course of fate. Wouldn't you like to know? Fine. I'm just going to have to verify your power. The very power that reversed my tarot card prediction. 
And how do you plan on doing that? Situation for a fortune teller like me. I need to get to the bottom of this. You won't have to do anything. Just sit next to me while I tell fortunes. And if another unopposable fate happens to appear, then I'll test your power. Yeah, I get nothing out of this. Fuck you. Well, that may be true. Why would I agree to this? Oh, I know. I'll read your fortune. Oh, okay. Please? I'll even prioritize your readings over my regular customers. Oh, when you put it like that. I'll be able to provide much more accurate predictions once I get to know you better. How does that sound? Is it a deal? Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I won't be able to go on. I won't be able to scam people as well. Well, you know, you seem genuine, so sure, you might be useful. Okay, then. I look forward to verifying your skills. Still better than a catchy. Okay. We made a deal after all. <laughs> oh, she is such a scumbag. Such a scumbag. Anyway, back to future present. Really, Sai? Really? A fucking fortune teller is not gonna like it whatever. You were lucky, there's no way you could have repeatedly done so many crimes. I am lucky. Or perhaps you had someone you consulted who gave you precise advice. You're not getting away this time with just luck. You say that. You know, funny you mention luck. I am thou. Because Chahaya here is the representative of the Wheel of Fortune Arcana. Shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the fortune persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. Honestly, gonna say I vastly prefer Naoto so far. But yeah, Chihaya is the fortune confidant. And the higher you get her confidant level, the, you know. She'll give you more specialized readings. Really something that can be changed? Which might be pretty beneficial, Possibly. like for getting more cash or improving social stats. Hmm. And other stuff. Oh, it's getting late. Let's close up shop for today. It's past your curfew. <laughs> yeah, we'll be dealing with her later on. It's, it's a little, it's a little better, it's a better endorsement than the Phantom Thieves are totally lame. <laughs> oh, I love that reading. I love that reading. It was so good. The Phantom Thieves are super lame. Who are you to doubt the fan thieves anyhow? What? Did we just inspire a cult? I feel like we're inspiring a cult. This might be a bad thing. I'm so glad the fan thieves are all over the news. They've really taken off since the whole Kamashita thing. We have, haven't we? We're practically one of them. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We already got Mishima super hyped up about all this. I feel like we're inspiring a cult. That's the, it. Is this a good thing? I don't think it is. This might be bad, guys.
Help the weak, crush the strong. Truly a modern legend of the gentleman thief. In the long history of humans, the gentleman thief has been seen briefly during times of turmoil. Now then, please look at this picture. Okay, who do we got? Yeesh. Yeah, that's one Ishikawa Goemon. Do you know the answer? And it is... Ooh. His death was not great. It was awful. Basically, he pissed off he... Hideyoshi Toyotomi, and then Hideyoshi put him into boiling water with his son. Now, there are a few different ways of how that legend is read. There are some instances of saying, Goemon held his son above his head for as long as he could until he died, at which point his son was spared, or he grabbed his son and slammed him down into the bottom of the boiling water, in the bottom of the boiling pot of water, as fast and as hard as he could to kill his son much quicker so he wouldn't suffer. Either way, it's still fucked up. It's not a great way to go. Ugh. Being boiled alive like a fucking lobster. No thank you. No thank you. That kind of explains why Yusuke has a weakness to fire. In a very fucked up way. It makes sense. As to why Captain Kid is weak to wind and... Arsene Lupin is weak to light, and Carmen is weak to ice. I don't know. I don't think there's any historical, like, reasons as to why those characters are weak to those elements. It's not like Arsene Lupin got, like, caught in a light and died from it, or... Or Captain Kidd got hit by a very hard wind, or Carmen froze to death. Maybe there's something in the legends, I'm not sure. Whatever. It's just a fun little reference. Let's go hang out with our good buddy, Yusuke. Because we learned about the legend of Goemon, may as well talk to Yusuke. He's doing some people watching. It is no secret that I love Kanji from Persona 4. I love him so much. He is my favorite. And his social link is just great. It's wonderful. It's absolutely wonderful. But I gotta say, Yusuke's confidant, it ain't half bad. It's pretty good. It's solid. It's easily one of the best confidants in the game. I love it. We're gonna see more of that starting right now. Needless to say, Yusuke is, hmm, he, he's, his confidant is one of the more eccentric ones. So we're going to the park right now. Oh boy. And we're in a boat. <laughs> After all, it would be impossible to sketch while rowing. Fair enough. Why are we in a boat, Yusuke? Search for my next motif. Okay. What's your next motif going to be about? 
So we're on ore duty. Gotcha. Look at all the ducks. They're so cute. I don't see any ducks. Hmm. Perfect. This is it. Yusuke, what are you doing? <laughs> My previous painting captured only one aspect of the heart. Desire. Alright. As such, I was unable to arrive at a truly authentic representation. That is why we've come today. I shall paint a second aspect. The burning passion between man and woman. Oh dear! <laughs> Fittingly, our theme today will be the wonders of love. Um, I feel like you should ask their permission first. What am I doing, Yusuke? What are you going to have me do? While I draw, ensure the boat remains as steady as possible amid these devilish ripples. Fair enough. Sure. This angle, incredible. Yusuke, um, all right. Again, I feel like you should ask their permission first. They're just looking at ducks, dude. Love endures. That is the truth of the human heart. You know what? Uh, you're. I, I, I'd like to think you're on the right track here. Although, I feel like, again, much like desire, love is kind of a topic that's been done quite a bit. So what kind of unique flair are you going to be putting on this? Hey. Can you please remain still? Oh dear. Return to your prior angle. I must capture your profile. Yusuke! You... I feel again... You need to ask for their permission. Okay, saying it like that does not help. That's not, that does not count as asking for permission. You will become new legends in the art world, a modern Adam and Eve. Um. Please don't mind my friend. He's very hungry. Hold on a sec. Are you drawing us? Again, this is why I say you need to ask for their permission. Yes. A man and woman intimately swaying in a dinghy of dreams. The blush of their cheeks, the bashful looks. Ugh. That kind of makes you sound like a voyeur, Yusuke. Choose your next words carefully. Love? I guess you could call it that, but it's kind of weird. It's familial love. This here's my sister. Aha! Yeah, not, uh, not so much the Adam and Eve there, is it? No ones who do this crap are stupid couples. <laughs> that would, exp that would probably, you know. But I've always dreamed of coming to Tokyo and riding a boat here. Though it was supposed to be with my boyfriend, not my brother. That is a bit awkward, isn't it? How could this be? Familial? <laughs> it's okay, Yusuke. You just kind of jumped the gun a little bit. Seems my bias has caused me to overlook the truth of the matter. You jumped the gun just a pinch. But you know what? Love comes in all forms. It's a multifaceted beast. This only serves to prove how narrow my perspective can be. You know what, Yusuke? Yes, love is broad. See. The two might maybe nigh indiscernible, depending on one's point of view. True! And in some case, you know what? I'm not touching that. Never mind. <laughs> hmm. Perhaps the truth of the heart lies in the eye of the beholder.
You know what? As long as you learn something, that's good. We're making progress. Good job, Yusuke. Good job. What do we get this time? Artist talk. Again, another negotiation ability. All right. Not bad. Not bad. Wait, so only couples ride these things, right? Um... Ooh, tell me more. Oh boy. How scandalous. Ah well, whatever. Anyway, that's gonna do it for this update. In the next update, more confidants, and maybe we might learn more about that girl who was spying on us. Anyway, until then, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next update. Until then, see ya.